Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles. Welcome back. Minecraft 1.60, another update is adding a brand new semi-intelligent life form into the game. This semi-intelligent, medium-brained life form, it goes by the name of the Piglin. The Piglins are the new rulers of the Nether. At the same time, Minecraft 1.16 is changing the old rulers of the Nether into zombified Piglins. By both name and appearance, these creatures seem to be pretty similar, but that's definitely not the case. Though these creatures are technically related, they are very, very different. And those differences are exactly what we're talking about today. To help get you ready for the Nether update, we'll be going over all of the major differences between piglins and zombified piglins. If you enjoy this one at least, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. Of course, the first major difference that you're going to notice between the zombified piglin and the plain old piglin is its look. The textures of these two creatures are entirely different. The zombified piglin resembles the old school zombie pigmen. Meanwhile, the piglin, that thing is completely new. I don't even know what this thing is. Is it a person? Is it a pig? I have no clue. That also kind of looks like a hoglin. It's kind of weird. But while looking at these two horrendous creatures, you've probably also noticed something else is different. The weapons. Zombified piglins can only use golden swords. Meanwhile, piglins, they can use crossbows and golden swords. In my opinion, the ones with swords are a little bit more dangerous than the crossbow ones. Sorry, crossbow guy, but you'll have to watch out for both. When approached in a survival setting, one of these creatures will create a whole lot more problems than the other one will, at least initially. So zombified piglin, they actually don't care about you in survival. You can stand next to them and hang out with them. They're cool. Just don't hit them. Meanwhile, piglin, well, uh, the piglin don't like zombified piglins, and they also definitely don't like you either. They will charge at you and attack you in survival unless you're wearing gold. If you wear gold, then you're cool with them too. But for some reason, if you don't have any gold, you're seen as a lesser being to these piglins, so uh, yeah, you, you better wear this stuff if you want to be their friends. Next up, take a look at this guy's hat. If you like gold hats, then you probably think this hat is pretty cool. If you hate gold hats, though, that probably won't be the case. Now, take a look at this guy's hat. It's on the ground, because this guy, it can't wear a hat. Zombified piglins cannot equip armor, whereas normal piglins, they can actually equip all types of armor. That's right, even netherite. That's right, you could give a random piglin your netherite armor and it will wear it, so long as it's not already wearing gold armor. So, so far, most of the differences that we've talked about are noticeable differences. They were all differences that you could spot from far away. Maybe the biggest difference between the piglin and the zombified piglin is one that you'll have to be up close to notice. So piglins, they're a whole lot smarter than zombified piglins. If you have gold and decide to give it to a piglin, it will actually barter with you. Now be careful about opening up chests around piglins because they don't like that. Zombified piglins, they don't care about chests. You can open them all you want. But yeah, I made a pretty bad call by opening this chest right here next to the piglin. The piglin didn't like that. Anyways, back to bartering. If you have gold, you can give the gold to the piglin and the piglin will look at the gold just like that. It's admiring its beauty or its apparent beauty. After a while, that piglin will throw something at you. That thing can be a whole bunch of different things. For the most part, most of the things that the piglins will throw at you when bartering are nether related things. Also, most of the bartering loot isn't the best stuff in the world, but you can actually get some pretty good stuff from these guys, including the Soul Speed Enchantment, which is a really, really useful enchantment, especially if you're going to the Soul Sand Valley. You can also get Crying Obsidian, which is not craftable in survival. You'll have to barter or find this stuff somewhere. Because of this bartering mechanic, piglins are actually kind of useful and it might be a good idea to keep these guys around your nether base. This whole bartering mechanic sort of makes piglins nether villagers, but uh, there's a hoglin. I think we're going to have to go now. But speaking of hoglins, sometimes piglins will decide to hunt these creatures. Zombified piglins, they won't. They don't really care about hoglins at all. Now, if a piglin does decide to hunt a hoglin, if there are other piglins nearby, they'll act in a group and actually help each other out. Whereas zombified piglins, they don't really care about each other. Unless, of course, you get them mad. If you get one zombified piglin mad, they'll all be mad at you. Piglins do the exact same thing. Piglins and wither skeletons, they're not friends. Piglins will seek out wither skeletons and actually try and take them out. The fight is pretty balanced. So piglins will attack a lot of things, but they'll also run from a fair amount of things too. If it involves soul fire, consider the piglin gone. They, they hate soul fire. This stuff, it just creeps them out. Why? No clue at all. It's not explained. They just hate soul fire. But that's not the only thing that piglins are afraid of. Piglins are also afraid of zoglins and zombified piglin. 
If a zombified piglin gets near a piglin, the piglins will actually try and run away, which I guess uh, kind of makes sense. If there was a zombified version of me, I'd probably be pretty creeped out too. Another thing that you may not have known about piglins is the fact that they actually have less health than their zombified counterparts. A normal piglin has 16 points of health, whereas a zombified piglin has 20 points of health. You can actually see this when you attack them with the netherite sword. Now their drops are also different. Zombified piglins can drop gold ingots, gold nuggets, and rotten flesh. Zombified piglins also have a chance to drop their golden sword. Piglins, on the other hand, they can drop any equipment that they're wearing, holding, or equipment that you've given them. That's right, piglins, they, they actually don't drop any gold. Because both of these creatures live in the nether, it'd be fair to think that they were both okay with fire and lava, but that's definitely not the case. In the zombified piglins case, lava, fire, it's fine, but in the piglins case, that stuff is bad news. It will burn them up. It's not good for them. Zombified piglins, though, completely immune. But fire isn't the piglin's only weakness. Piglins also can't stand the overworld. If a piglin somehow makes it into the overworld, it will begin shaking immediately. And then, eventually, after 15 seconds or so, the piglins will actually turn into zombified versions of themselves. So, there you go. That's the creation story for the zombified piglin. Um, the zombified piglin, by the way, at least as of this snapshot, they can hold crossbows. So, kinda cool. And finally, last but not least, if you were still doubting the high IQ of the piglin, take a look at this. Piglin right there, wall of doors right there, soul lantern right there, piglin freaks out and opens the door. That's right, piglins, they know how to use doors. That means their brain is pretty massive, not gonna lie. A door, it's a pretty complex thing. Zombified piglin, they could never. Doors are pretty much solid walls to them. They can't figure them out. These guys, though, a door, it's nothing. They can go right through it. And those are the major differences between the piglin and the zombified piglin. Now, this update is still in snapshots, so if something big changes, I'll make sure to leave a pinned comment down below letting you know all about that. If you had to pick a team, if you had to decide which one is better, which one would you choose, the piglin or the zombified piglin? Pick a side, let me know in the comments below, and tell me why. Today, I'll go ahead and leave the nether update playlist on the end slide for you to check out. If you're into these nether update videos, definitely slide into that playlist. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like. It really helps the video out, and it helps me know what to make more of. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Hit that bell as well, and of course, stay safe, gamers. Until next time, it's been me, your boy Waddles. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.